The third game of the February 1993 LSAT tells us that each of seven judges is voting for or else against granting a petition of that log corporation. And each of these judges is going to be labeled as a conservative, moderate, or liberal, and no judge will be assigned more than one of those labels. Two of these judges are conservatives, two are moderates, three are liberals. And again, they're either going to vote for, which is yes, or against, which is no. And the following is known about how these judges voted. The first condition tells us that if two conservatives and at least one liberal voted the same way as each other, then both moderates voted that way. All right, so let's think about that voted the same way as each other. They can either vote yes or no. So instead of writing it out twice, I'm just going to put a variable and call it x. So if two conservatives and at least one liberal vote the same way, again, either voting for or voting against, then both moderates voted that way as well. The contrapositive would be if both moderates aren't voting the same way, well then we cannot see two conservatives and two liberals voting that way. The second condition tells us that if three liberals voted the same way as each other, then no conservative voted that way. So again, if we have liberals all voting the same way, we'll have X be that same way. Well, we know that no conservatives voted that way. Contrapositive, if we have two conservatives voting the same way, then we cannot have all three liberals vote that way. The third condition tells us that at least two of the judges voted for and at least two voted against. So you notice that our possibilities here now for our distributions are going to be 5, 2 and 4, 3. So we could have 5 judges voting one way, 2 the other, or 4 judges voting one way and 3 the other. And the fourth and final condition tells us that at least one conservative voted against that log. So at least one conservative voted against, well, that allows us to make one more deduction. So notice from the second condition that if three liberals vote the same way, then no conservatives vote that same way. So if we had three liberals voting no, we couldn't have any conservatives voting no, but the fourth condition told us that a conservative is voting no. So that tells us we cannot have all three liberals voting no, which means at least one liberal must also vote yes. And that would be the setup for this game.